Hey YouTube, Mick here. Alright. Just coming at you from the man cave. And I had to um, sharpen my Jeff White um, knife that I bought from uh, Dennis at Survival Supplies Australia. And I wasn't happy with the sharpness of it. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. I'm not that good at doing convex edges. But I just did it now and you know what? It's hair popping sharp. It didn't take long at all. So I'm not showing, I'm not telling you this is how it should be done. I'm just showing you how I did it and how I got it hair popping sharp. Okay, so um, simply what I've done is, uh, and look, this might look bodgy, but I've grabbed the Warthog sharpening system, um, which is on my website if you want to check that out. Uh, they're great diamond plates. Just gonna wipe it off because I just did a sharpen with it before. And maybe I should do a video and dull this thing, but um, I think it needs to be a little bit sharper than what I did. So, uh, and I can make this sharper if I could be bothered to get my uh, 1200 grit sandpaper out, but I can't. But I'm working on a 600 grit diamond plate. That's a warthog diamond plate and I simply just stuck it to uh, a piece of timber because I've got my strop on the other side and this in itself is a great field sharpening tool in a backpack if you know you're doing an overnight or or something like that but simply I'm not too concerned about the angle to be honest because I don't know what the correct angle is for a convex you know there's really nothing to follow all I can follow is when I feel it grabbing okay so if I put it flat like that I'm not feeling a grab, okay? If I put a bit of a more of an angle, I'm feeling a grab a little bit more, a little bit more of an angle, and I can feel a grab there. So once I kind of feel that angle, that's just what I'll do. So I go one, two. So what I'll do is I'll do, uh, uh, let's say 15, okay? No, it's 15. All right, I wasn't putting too much pressure there. And I just wiped it off on the uh, husky tape that I got there just to get the burrs off. And then I'm just going to uh, give it a real rough strop. And this strop is just a belt that I've had for years. And this belt is all cut up. You know, I do time to time put Brasso on there. And uh, it still works fine. Okay, now I've got the 1000 grit uh, plate from the Warthog sharpening system. And uh, again, you can look at this on my website. You know, I've done a video, I think, before. You know, you can put the angles and stuff on there. For this knife and for many knives, I'm not going to bother because I've kind of got to learn the angles. But this is a 1000 grit now. So, um, and by the way, this plate is still being broken in. Uh, you'll find that it may feel rougher than the 600 grit. Well, it does feel rougher than the 600 grit because <clears throat> I've broken the 600 grit in. I mean, I've you know taken off a few layers of the diamond to make it a little bit probably smoother. So you know the same thing for this. So I've got to do this a little bit lighter and gentler because I can feel this is actually grabbing a little bit more. And I am no knife sharpening expert, by all means. So I'm just showing you the way I do it. And that's it. And I don't even know how many passes I've done. But I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just do that. And then just give it a strop. I'm not even strop, stropping it uh, nice and smooth. You know, I should be really going like that, but I'm just doing it rough. And this is probably because I grew up in a butcher shop. My mum 
my dad, my uncles, my grandfather, my grandmother, all butchers. And since I was literally three months old, I would be on the floor in the sawdust watching my family sharpen their knives on the uh, the steels. You know, like friggin' ninjas going nuts. Um, Alright, so let's give it a paper cut test. This paper is like it's wet, it's moist. It's been raining hard. And I some moisture's got into my shed. Yeah, it's wet. Well, right. stuff the paper, let's do a hair hair shaving test, eh? I'm not gonna even bother editing this thing. Um, alright. Let's grab me sexy legs. I'm getting that in camera. <clears throat> All right. So it's going down. You can see the ball patch, so it is. Hair shaven sharp. Let's try going up and try not to cut any major artery or something. So there you go. Stuff the paper cutting test. Hair shaving sharp is what I want, and that is hair shaving sharp. Okay. And the thing with a convex is, um, you know, obviously you can't got no timber around but you can't put it on a flat angle and expect shavings to come off you gotta put it on the correct angle to get the shavings off wood so that is a convex that's how I sharpen my convex this one being a Jeff White knife um, and mate if it's hair shaving sharp it's sharp enough for me so that's it simply use the warthog sharpening system 600 grit 1000 grit and then stropped it and it's hair shaving sharp and that's all I did. I could probably get it sharper if I jumped up to 1200 grit or 2000 grit. Um, but you know what? I don't have a 2000 grit um, diamond plate, or I don't have a Japanese water stone. I don't have. I don't have that shit. All I have is my warthog sharpening system um, and sandpaper, and I didn't even use a 1200 grit on that. So if I use the 1200, I'll probably get that sharper. But you know what? It's sharp enough. So. As I said, if it's hair shaving sharp, it's sharp enough for me.